Okay, welcome once again, another video, chun -Li Execution. This one, a bit harder than the previous ones, but after I do the explanation and you understand the concept behind it, with practice, you should be able to land it pretty consistently. So, what am I practicing? I'm practicing holding the charge while still performing a neutral normal because um, Chun Li medium punch there are two variations the neutral and that is this one and the directional which is this one for the back so I'm trying I'm going to show you how to perform this while still holding a back charge and not get this it's pretty straightforward at the same time a bit difficult to perform but the concept here is while you are in hit stop or block stop basically this while you're while you're still frozen and on recovery as you're recovering in SF5, there is a buffer window at the end of every move or normal, special, anything you throw out. There is a buffer window where you can press a button and the button is registered and locked to come out immediately after the recovery complete. Am I making s uh, okay, let me put it this way. If I am performing this move in SF4 for the crouching medium kick to come out, for example, I have to press it the frame after the last recovery frame of the standing medium punch. If I pressed it at the exact last frame of the previous button it will not come out that was why in sf4 a lot of one frame links were quite difficult because you have only one frame to press them making people to use what they call plinking which looks something like this and in this case as you can see i pressed um, medium kick and light kick but I press them one frame apart and I'll now have the medium kick in two frames so even if I pressed it a frame earlier the second frame that has the medium kick and light kick will also come out and I'll still get the medium kick to come out after the previous button now that was for SF4 in SF5, though, there is a three frame window prior that you can press your button and the game will register it, hold it, and as soon as the previous attack is completed, it will play whatever attack is in the buffer window. So that makes it a lot easier and most links, even one frame links in SF5, you can just double tap the button and it will fall in with a good chance into that buffer f buffer window frame. That's three frame buffer window. So that is what we are going to take advantage of in order to perform a neutral button while holding a back charge. Because essentially what happens is if in that three frame window while you're holding a back charge if you press up back or even no oh, sorry it has to be up back if you press up back with the button you want to get the neutral and immediately go from up back back to back or back to down back the game will record only the neutral input which is the medium punch in this case so let me try and do it if I do it too late 
I will get a jumping back. But if I do it correctly, you see that my input is showing up back punch. But what is coming out is neutral medium punch. And I will do this after a jumping because it's much easier <laughs> after a jumping because of the huge hit stop that's involved. All right, let me show you. So as you can see, I'm holding up back the whole time, but the game is still recognizing the medium punch because one, I am grounded, so it cannot be airborne. And since it's saying get off the ground, but she's still on the ground, the conclusion from the game is to Give them a neutral medium punch. I'm not going to deal with whatever inputs this guy is messing around with. So, with that knowledge, you are able to perform this combo while holding charge and still getting a neutral medium punch in between it. See? And if you look at my inputs, at the bottom right there it shows jump back and media punch so it a lot this allows me to keep the back charge while still getting the neutral this technique also works with guile and i believe oro as well so um, then for the down light punch to Stand in medium. This one is a bit tricky because it's a much much smaller window. But if you look closely, you notice that I press the jump back medium punch while the down light punch is still sticking out. If I do it too late, I will get the jumping back animation. But if I do it early enough, I remember you have to go from down light punch up back medium punch in the three frame buffer window and go back to back or down back for it to come out so let me try and do it i'll probably jump back a few times because i haven't really practiced this much Right, like that. So if you can get this down with practice, then congratulations, you can now do one of the hard action league combos. So that's pretty much it. We practice. You keep in mind that for this to work, you have to press up back within that three frame buffer window at the end of the recovery of the down light punch. So, let's keep that in mind. So, if you're practicing this, you do down light punch, up back medium punch immediately to down back again, so you can still hold the charge, or you can go from down light punch, up back medium punch to back, then you can go down medium kick, then press forward and hard punch for the fireball. It's simple, but it requires a, a bit of practice. And I've been yapping for nine minutes. So that's pretty much it. You know, let me know if you understand what I'll be yapping about. And if you have any questions, as usual, put it in the comments below or, you know, ask on Reddit, Discord, um, all over the place. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.